Rek'Sai is currently the number one top laner in the whole game. This is from her burrowed healing. It's a little too high right now, so whenever you auto or Q something, you go into burrow mode, you heal back so much freaking health. Combine this with D shield and second win, and there's pretty much no champion that can knock you out of lane. Our core build right now is to be more of a tank and a bruiser than a bruiser or an assassin so you're looking for a bombies item first item most of the time this works best against melee champions in particular because you can trade with them push wave at the same time you should avoid going for bombies rush items though if you're up against a champion you can't interact with because then when you push up to their turret to smash it with your demolish they'll step into you and the turret will start banging you out so although bombies is a very good item you're going to be building it most games you're not always going to get the sunfire or the hollowed radiance depending on the matchup i personally find rek'sai to work best against champions who try to just run you out of health over time magic damage champions in particular rushing can and converse them they can do absolutely nothing whether it's an ap shaco teemo or a rumble teemo jungle not kai top i was actually hoping it'd be teemo top that'd be a lot easier of a matchup i think because we can portal to teemo we can't jump away like a nar can so yeah it's a great game they have three ap the jungle and the tops ap so canic rush is going to be disgusting after canic we'll go straight into stride breaker uh hole breaker really didn't feel that good last game i feel like the movement speed on it needs to be a bit higher because if everyone else builds a movement speed item as well they generally have more than five percent whether it's a phantom dancer a storm surge or whatever it is it's more than five percent so Stride Breaker is probably just your best movement speed kind of option for Rek'Sai. Tunnel into him. We want to get the knockup. There we go. We got the knockup grass bottle. That's perfect for us. He's low damage. He's not going to do much against us early on. Tunnel in. Boof. Get the knockup. We'll go ahead and get... I wouldn't mind getting portal here honestly to get to this guy portal would have been okay in this instance just because he's so low damage go ahead and knock it up get both couldn't quite get that one in time get with the q there's a grass bottle perfect he went aftershock which is a really weird thing he must have done that on accident you don't really want uh, aftershock top side Unless maybe a Ramus and even then. Auto E auto. Didn't quite get it. And yeah, we don't want to go bombies. You can tell this matchup, we're going to just dump waves on this guy. Get him with a Q. Get him with an E. Oof, two turret shots. Yuck. We're actually kind of killable now for their jungle. Auto Q. Got the knockup auto QE auto. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful. We don't want to use our E ideally unless we're full fury. So without full fury, basically does less than half damage. You can tunnel into him from bush. Knocked me away. That's a good Q on his part. Nice, nice, nice. We're healing it back up. Teemo's here and we walk away. And we walk on out of here. Teemo's wasting his time. That's the thing. Even though Teemo jungle, it's decent. It scales well. The ganks are very easy to avoid. I can just keep baiting it too. I want Maokai to go for the dash, and then I just dash into my turret. The team was wasting time. Tried to use the AOE there to clip it. Couldn't quite get it. Got with the Q. Auto E auto. W E knock up auto Q. Great trades for us. We can heal back way faster than Maokai can. You need to be careful about portaling. It's very easy to miss minions because your portal takes such a long, such a long animation. I'm going to go ahead and just dump this wave. Heal back up. We could E from bush here. Just like so. He's queuing us so early. He's not even having time to try to heal off us with his auto if his passive is up i forget if his passive heals him less against non-champions really don't remember 
just walk him down here. Auto Q, auto E. And the R. Just flash out. We're chilling and growing. We got his flash there. Oops, wasn't trying to E yet. I was trying to get closer to the wall. <clears throat> I think I should just reset. The wave's kind of frozen after my front line gets past. A little bit. <sighs> they should be in turret range. <clears throat> First item back. Guess what they have? Unironically, Kanix best. But he's doing such little damage that I wouldn't mind having a stride breaker first item. But I, I you know, I'll, I'll commit. I'll do Kanix. What the heck? We'll do it. Kanix here, Sundered Sky Rush here. Even Bork Rush against him would be good. Kanix by far the safest. Where if I get deep ganked by the Teemo, we should be a okay. It's kind of coming to me right now. I want to get him with a freaking grass bottle. He probably feels like that's a good trade for him, but I can heal back so quickly. It's really not. And on top of that, I'm getting grasps. Auto Q auto and the E. We're going to E him behind him. Knock up auto Q. He's dead. That's the first real kind of prolonged trade he's done with us. And now he knows that simply won't work. I have magic resist here, so I'm pretty tanky. With the knockup, auto Q auto. Gone with the E, heal it back. Auto Q. Again with R, he's dead. Healing from W is pretty crazy, and we're out. Whew, we're tanky, man. Tanky, tanky, tanky. Is there something right here? Like, what is going on? Oh, I can't see, boy! I can't see! Oh no. <clears throat> that W interaction with Rek'Sai is freaking brutal. I hate it. I absolutely hate that. Let's grab some more of Kanik. Once again, this is completely matchup dependent. Do not rush Kanik against a physical damage top laner, such as a Riven, Fiora, Callista, Vayne, Yone, Yasuo, Darius, Garen, Trundle. Or even a Warwick for that matter, because Warwick still does plenty of physical. It needs to be truly magic damage champion like a Teemo Rumble, Maokai, AP Shaco top, that type of stuff. QE into him, auto Q, auto E auto, insanely good trade for us. We'll just walk him down, auto Q. He needs to stop trading, he's giving me <clears throat> a lot of grasps. I know that doesn't sound like a big deal, but it adds up over time. <clears throat> Go ahead and just E away from that. That trade was starting to get a little too <clears throat> beefy because of his minions. He's running out of mana here. It's actually kind of funny. Oh my goodness. Missed a minion. I don't mind pressing him underneath this turret. Since I didn't go bombies, the turret's not going to just focus me for no reason. So instead, I can shove, hit it. He's a low enough damage champion to where it's pretty effective. There's very minimal he can kind of do about it. Can max our E second, walk this down. We're going to unburrow because we don't want to AoE him with our unburrow. We don't want to Q here because it'll AoE him and it'll, the turret will hit us. Even though our Q's extra damage and attack speed. It's just not worth it. Turret hurts. Oops. <laughs> I accidentally autoed him while I was snared. I needed to press S. I have my auto enemy champions button on in my settings. I'm kind of low now. A bit hesitant about staying. I suppose they're all probably bot side though. Auto Q. My grass is up. I wouldn't mind looking for a trade, especially if I keep my E up. There you go, buddy. Got the knock up. There's the grasp. Auto Q auto. Auto E. R E. Percent base damage, so it's pretty good against this guy. Possibly over committing here if I was getting ganked. Possibly it ends up not being an overcommittal. A little lucky on that. 
W into Q. You can W Q get out, get off your missile really fast, or you can W E to get off a tunnel really fast. It's like Timo is top here. We'll E away, and as you can see, ganking Rek'Sai is no easy task. We had another tunnel we could have gone to there. <clears throat> there we go. They need displacements to stop my travel. They can't use snares. It's like Maokai snare isn't going to stop it. It's a dash, not a... That For the most part, that snares don't even stop channels. I don't even think it stops fiddlesticks or channel. <laughs> They're all still sitting here fiddling with me. This is so funny. It's just so weird that they're here for so long. Very funny though. Got Zyra. Yeah, I don't want to really overcommit. We'll Ian get him with the knock up. Just kill mid, please. Knock up auto Q. Auto E auto. Q in the R. Barely got him. He's doing physical damage, so he hurts me. We'll E to get on top of him. Auto Q auto. Auto E auto. Good job. But we really should push mid. Push mid though. It's free. -er. <laughs> like we don't need to group on that. That that could have very much so gone the other way. I can survive their nonsense for a very long period of time. Let's go ahead and take this. Auto E, auto Q. Got all the minions here. Once again, we're going to avoid trying to AOE him with our Q. He might just ignore us. We'll see dash out of that auto Q auto I don't have my dash now but I do still have flash I can just proxy him I guess it's kind of awkward fairly safe though as long as I have my tunnel auto E auto go back under heal it up knock up auto Q auto he's gonna miss minions doing this too he can't just sit here and fight me while I kill him and his minions if he had grass, this would definitely be more challenging. His keystone choices made this substantially easier for me. WE away. I do still have some tunnels. Alright, cool. Yep, here's the on. I can R if I have to. Here's my knock up. Chilling and grilling. Just ping his turret once. I don't need to ping multiple times. He already knows he needs to push. Q auto. Flash away. They both just burn both their R's for that. Get the knock up. I don't think he realizes his laner didn't follow him there. Or maybe they're trying to bait me. I can't tell. This is so... Like, what is happening? We'll go ahead and R away. What is happening? Why do they want me so bad? Knock up. Walk away. <laughs> like, what is this? Holy crap. I'm POTUS over here. Everybody wants a piece. Knock up auto Q. Auto Q, Auto E. Uh, I don't think we kill him here. My dash is on cooldown for a while. Once again, Soul roamed. I wish he would have just stayed in his lane. We'll E on to him. Get with a knock up. Auto Q, Auto. I need to get him with an E right when he comes out. I'm still healing a lot. Walk her down. Got grass ready. Auto Q. Heal off the grasp. Nice. That's funny, man. It's funny how bad they want me dead. It's just not panning out for them. <laughs> Walk him down. I, I'm sitting on so much unspent gold here. Go back into tunnel form. We need to heal up a bit. Going to tunnel away. I'm, I am sitting on a tremendous amount of gold. We could even play hard still here. Go straight, tank, Rek'Sai. It wouldn't be bad against their team other than the Yone Bork. Yeah, I guess we'll try that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. 
I mean, we really should finish the canic first. We're 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 living loose here. Do some infinite scaling. Auto e auto. Go underneath. Got the grass bangle as well. We're we're getting more health than just than just a uh, charge from Holdbreaker. Auto Q auto, very nice. There it is. Just walk up, knock him up, hit him with an auto. Eh, as long as he doesn't knock me out of that, it's whatever. They're really not doing a whole lot of damage. As long as the own doesn't come, I could actually just casually fight these guys 1v2. I thought Bard was here. Timo kited into me. That was rough. Auto E. Maybe they're just trying to bait me, making me think I can kill him. So he's kiting like crap to let his teammates catch up. We'll R to him. Take the tunnel. We'll burrow. E away. We got more burrows. Oh no, they're going to get me. <laughs> I got so many burrows I can always got one over here too. Down he goes. Walking this guy down, get him with the Q, didn't quite connect. There's Ash. Man, I'm not even able to get any assists. That stinks. Really should <laughs> like if you weren't crazy fed like I am, you should have just finished the Kanic. It's just since I was so far ahead and I can afford the the heart's still all in one go there. It's, it is the one of the stronger scaling tank items, and if you do want to have it in your build, the sooner you get it, it's typically the better. I don't even remember ever dying. Apparently I've died at some point. I can portal back over. Well, E, auto Q, auto E, auto. Can't get to her, man. I need my R. Get the knock of auto Q. <clears throat> that was a heart still. Really, really want to get to this Ash. I know I can't, though. He might actually die from Leandre's burn there. Yep. I was going to say he's pretty low. I'm going to just go for it. Auto Q. Auto. Someone else is tanking turret. I don't think I am. Yeah, it was Soul apparently. I don't think Soul realized he was tanking though. We're going to R and behind him. Oof. W E. And I think we're living. Yeah, we're living. Take the portal on over. Get with the Q auto. Man, Ash is a pest. Nice job from Caitlyn there. Knock up auto QE. Now she goes. Glad Caitlyn backed me up. I have my E here. I mean, he can try. <laughs> I got my tunnels. I'll walk him down a little bit more before we take it so he doesn't backtrack on us. Got him with the knock up here in a second. There it is. Oof. Man, this is frustrating. To eat. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to get to this team out. It's not meant to be. We can portal back onto him. Oof. Really the Ash R man. Portal away. Chilling and grilling. <laughs> These guys chase so much. It's pretty funny. <laughs> they want me bad, dude. That's the only way to put it. It's just so lucky that my R's on cooldown. Like, bro, come on, team. Get out of here, you turd sniffer. Pick up Kanic. It'll completely solve their magic damage heavy comp. And then our plated will solve the physical damage for the most part. 
There's the Canic. We could go Hollowed Radiance. I really like Canic, though. The item's cracked. Uh, we could go for Stride. We could go for Bork. I think Stride's the answer here. They have triple range champs. So it'll help us close distance. So many good item options on Rek'Sai all the time. Many, many choices. I think you should just try to avoid the temptation of going Trinity as much as possible. It's only if you're really fed. Super expensive items that don't add much to your tankiness or mobility need to be avoided. Oh, there's Teemo. He's going for it. I'm gonna take it quick. Hey, buddy. Can I get to him? We E. He backtracks. That's kind of what I've been worried about. Is getting backtracked on. He finally did it. He timed it pretty well. Auto E auto. Tunnel again with the Q. And he backtracks again. I think we should be able to run him down though. Well, that works too. <laughs> that works. We'll take it. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Ab TP ready. I suppose we could end here. Yeah, just TP on to cannon. E straight on to Ash. Knock up auto Q. Auto E. Can't finish it. Got a Q on to Yone. Got to keep this guy off with my red buff auto so he gets flash on to Caitlyn. Auto E auto. Walk down the ash, knock up. Everyone's just kind of ignoring me. It's it's bizarre. I guess they want to get to soul badly. That's it. We'll take it, man. Let's get the graphs. Damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. What a funny Rek'Sai top game. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we were number two. Not bad. Behind the soul for damage taken. Highest in the game. Self-mitigated. If we took 46k, we probably self-mitigated 60k. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, only 44. Huh. I guess it's because I delayed the canic for so long. For runes high value. All in all, Rek'Sai top's a whole lot of fun. Just remember, build the right items based on the matchup and based on the enemy team comp. Do not build canic versus physical damage. And do not build a Sunfire Rush against something like a Teemo or a Rumble. That is silly. If you guys enjoyed this Rek'Sai video, let me know what champion you want to see next. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.